hello viewers welcome back to my channel be and so with nd my name is nd afolabi if this is the first time of viewing my channel kindly subscribe to my channel like share and put your comments in the comment box so today i'm going to show you how to cut and sew a trendy booboo so you can customize booboo to be what you want so for this trendy booboo i'm going to use ankara material for it and how do you determine the quantity of material you need lengthwise so you measure your floor length and the floor length that i'm going to do today is 60 inches you times the floor length times two making 120 inches so you are going to measure 120 inches long that is lengthwise of which i've done it this is my ankara so after measure 120 inches long this way you are going to fold it into two so after folding it to two you are going to get 60 inches long so and mind you the upper edge is going to be folded that will be your center front and your center back this edge is going to be folded so you are going to fold it into two again so we have one folded edge and one open edge here so here we have all folded the four pieces of the fabric is folded so this is going to be your center front and your center back and this is going to be your sans side seam where arm hole sleeve and uh, the rest is going to be so i've done that i've laid my fabric on the working table let's go there so this is my fabric i've laid it just as i've explained so i'm going to mark my measurements so i'm going to start by measuring my armhole my armhole is 10 my waistline is 18 and a half and my hip is 26 so i'm going to rule the line going to mark it so that the line can be straight i'm going to take my ruler and connect all the line connect all the line this is my waistline and this is my ample like so 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 this is my armhole, this is my waistline, and that is my hip line. So now I'm going to start by taking my um, neck. I want my neck to be four inches. Then my shoulder is um. Um, for this uh, booboo, depends on you. You can go ahead and measure the the shoulder, but you can ignore it um if you wish but um let's ignore it so my neck width is um four inches my neck depth is uh, three and a half inches so i'm going to connect i'm going to use my cuff ruler and connect this way so I'm going to go to the edge of the fabric and measure one and a half inches. Now let me make it two inches. Then I'm going to connect the two inches to my neckline. This way. I hope you see what I'm doing. I'm going to connect it to the two inches. I'm going to add back half inches for joining. I'm going to add back half inch for joining. So, um, this is my ample. 
so i'm going to put my bust measurement there so it's a free dress it's not going to have a zipper so i'm going to add to my divided measurement so my bust i'm going to make my bust um 40 is 44 i'm going to make it 46 this is my bust then i'm going to make my waist this is a uh, 12 inches i'm going to make my waist 44 11 this way so i'm going to make my hip um this is 46 is 46 i'm going to make my hip to make it 30 I'm going to make it 15 my hip because it's a free dress so I'm going to connect the line like so so what you have on your hip you go to the the down part of the dress I have 15 on my hip, so I'm going to put the exact measurement that I have on my down part of the dress. I'm going to rule a straight line to join my hip line. I'm going to try and line the hip line so that there will not be any sharp edges on the hip line so like so so i'm going to add my my joining allowance for my hip line uh, you are going to understand the reason why i didn't add for my chest line i'm going to explain that to you so the joining allowance is going to be for my hip line to the down part of the dress so for the sleeve i'm not going to cut the sleeve separately it's going to be like cut together so this one depends on you you can draw the sleeve from this shoulder slant to any way you want but as for me i want it to end on my hip line so I'm going to connect it to my hip line like so. I'm going to try to wind to wind this with the sewing allowance like so. Like so this way. So um, from here to here, I'm going to join it from the right side of the dress. After I have joined this seam allowance from the wrong side, I'm going to join from the chest line, that is from my armhole point, down to meet my hip line, where I start joining from the wrong side. So for easy tracing i'm going to put a pin i'm going to pin pin where i'm going to join on the right side so it's starting here where it's starting i make the pin to be um horizontal then i put the other pin to be vertical so that i'll be able to trace the line, trace the line and connect accordingly. So I'm going to pin it to my waist down to my hip. So it's already pinned so that if you make a mark, so that when I open it, I'll be able to trace it 
on my the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to cut it out now. I'll come back and show you how it's looking. So this is how my boo is looking after I have cut it. So I'm going to take out the back neck and uh, trim out the front, the front neck. put a, a small slit on the front. I want the slit to open. That is how I'm cutting it. I'm going to put a small slit. This way. I'm going to slit the front this way like that. I think it should be four inches by the time I pipe the neck to go down to yes we have four and a half so by the time I pipe the neck it will go back to four inches so I cut a long stripe I cut a long stripe I cut a three inches by as long as you want your ruffle to be so I want to use it to make a ruffle on this uh, cuff at the sleeve line so i'm going to show you how i'm going to sew it so this is the ubu i've opened it up so the essence of me pinning um the where where we sew on the right side so i'm going to show you why i pin it so that it will be easy for me to mark so this is at the wrong side so I want to transfer this to the right side because that is where I'm going to sew. So I'm going to follow my pin accordingly. As I'm following it, I'm going to be taking off the pin. So this is the starting point. This way it's starting. So the next pin, take it out, trace it. Here's the next pin, trace it to where the pin is. I'll take that one out. I open it and I trace it to where the next thing is. Take this one out. I'll trace it to where the next thing is. I'll take this one out. this one to where I notch so this is where I notch so this is where I'm going to sew from my armhole chest line down to waistline then to my hip line that is where I'm going to sew on the right side so now I'm going to join the shoulder so right side is facing right side I'm going to join the shoulder, the two shoulder, and after joining the shoulder, I'm going to use this uh, swipe and make a pleat, and make a pleat, and uh, use it and uh, pipe all this my sleeve line both ways. Then after that, I'm going to finish up this uh, opening. Then I will pipe the neck. Then after that i'm going to turn it to wrong side the way it is and i'm going to sew from hip down from hip down so i'm going to do that and come back and show you what i got so i just want to show you i just want to show you where 
I'm going to join it on the wrong side. So this is the flat sleeve. I've joined the shoulder and I've hemmed the sleeve round. So this is where I'm going to join um, right side facing right side. That is from the hip down to the down part of my boob. So this is it. So I'm going to I've hemmed it down parts so I folded it so that I'll be able to get to locate the center back because I'm going to slit center back I'm going to slit it up to 19 inches I'm going to slit it up to here so I'm going to stop half inch before 19 inches. I'm going to stop slitting. So I'm going to slit it open from the hem part down to 18 and half inches. I'm going to stop slitting here. Then I'm going to measure this material and insert it in the back slit. So this is the pieces I want to insert. I've cut it and I put it on fold. I measure the length of my slit to be the same thing this way. So I'm going to hold it down, hold it down so that it can be one piece. So this is the, the pleats. This is how I inserted that uh, fabric I attached to the I attached to the plates this is how I after it I tack I tack it tack it down I don't want to show it because um, this video will be too long that is why I didn't show it this is it at the right side this is how it's looking you can see how lovely it's looking with the plates and see how it's looking so i want to join my the ruffle that is going to be on the sleeve side so i have um, enough longer stripe to use so i'm going to be putting i'm going to leave uh, half an inch on the round sleeve going to be leaving half an inch so the plate is uh, towards me the plate is towards me if i want to sew the other sleeve i'm going to pleat it towards the opposite direction so that at the end of the day the plate for the two sleeve will rhyme so i'm going to pleat so you have to measure if you don't have enough um, long uh, strike for you to pleat, but I have enough. So I don't worry about uh, whether it will not be enough. So I'm going to sew. Then I'll sew the other side. When I finish sewing, I'll turn it this way and top stitch. I'll stop stitch it around. I'll do the same. So when I finish top, top stitching, I'll finish up the neckline then I'll come back and show you how beautiful the trendy kimono is looking on me. So my dear friends, this is the outcome. You can see how beautiful and elegant is looking. This is the slit. I wish you can see it good. The way I'm walking, the way I'm walking, the way I'm walking, walking, the way I'm walking, So, thank you guys. I'm going to also show you the picture. If I want to rock it to 
another parry, but I don't want it to be as free. I want it to, to be smart in the waistline. What will I do? I'll just add the elastic on the waist. That's all. Then I'm good to go. So I'm going to show you the picture. So thank you for staying by me. Stay tuned to my channel. Take care of yourself and give up.